episode 1098, I Did It My Way. Moms, it's time to rediscover, rejuvenate, and renew who you are in mind, body, and spirit. Welcome to Create Your Now, Your Best Selfie, the show to help you do just that. Here's your host, certified life coach, personal trainer, and nutritionist, Christiane Wargo. Staring at a stop sign, watching people drive by. Happy, happy day. It is Friday. You made it through the week. Oh my goodness, you can take a big, deep breath. It is confession of an upset mama. Are you ready to confess it all? Come on, let's lay it out there because I did it my way. For those of you who are brand new to Create You Now, welcome to this incredible family. I'm so delighted of your presence. If you already haven't had the opportunity, you'll want to head on over to createyournow.com where you can learn more and sign up for the Kisses newsletter, the Keep It Simple Strategy Everyday Solutions to Live, Love, and Impact. Well, we all want to feel good knowing that I did it my way. The fight was worth it. The long days, the frustration, the aggravation. I did it my way. The details of how things get done doesn't matter when you get the pat on the back, the recognition. But how much is that really worth? Is it all about you and should it be? Our children argue to get their way. They stomp their feet and complain loudly. Oh, yes, mine do. And there's a lot of them. It's a party every day. Those temper tantrums, it drives you crazy, doesn't it? Yet, what does it really accomplish? Whether it's our children or ourselves, because be honest, it's confession day. We too can throw temper tantrums. We need to consider the fallout and ramifications that come with this attitude of fairness, and it's all about me. How much does it matter if you did it your way? Look on the other side. What would happen if you had the team working together? The idea that teamwork brings the dream work. I know in our family, my hubby says, okay, go war, go team. Come on, we can do this. We got this. We are a team. We got to look at our families as a team, a unit, but we don't because that little ego, that little, ha, wait, it's about me. I want to get the recognition. I want to know that I did it. But when you think about it, even if you're the one who's trying to get through the project, organizing everything, it wasn't all done because of you. It took multiple, multiple people to get you to where you are. Look at going to college. Did you get your degree all by yourself? You're probably like, yeah, I did. I went to class. I took care of it. Yeah, but who taught you? Did you have a building to go to? Who cleaned those buildings? Who emptied the trash? It was a team. By taking the focus off of I and incorporating a heart of we, nothing is impossible. We need to bleed the heart of we. That is your kiss, the keep it simple strategy. Bleed the heart of we. And when you do that, you've got three factors that it's involved. So let's break it down to see what that looks like. We've got focus, truth, and love. So number one, focus. It's easy to lose sight of the goal. Guess what? We're barely into two weeks of the new year. How are your goals working out for you? Those resolutions that should have been revelations? Are you there or have you given up already? Have you already began to shift back into what's a little more comfortable? Where you're like, huh, I feel good here. Don't feel good over there. We lose sight of the goal. But when you have one plus one, you have a team that keeps the focus. It keeps the drive. The ego can be drowned out, revealing the next steps easier. Remember, one step at a time leads to miles of greatness. It's one step. But if you're the one trying to do everything, you're going to miss some things. That's why you have to bleed the heart of we. So you got to focus. That's number one. Number two is truth. If it's all about you and only you, then truth is relative only to one. Makes sense, right? Because what you see is what you get. It's only you. You don't have to consider anybody else. It's only the one. As you bleed the heart of we, it's not about what you do or what you say. It's about the challenge of becoming your best selfie. You are grounded. You're built up. If you're just all by yourself, the truth is only what you see. Your perspective is one-sided, hence only the one. But when you have a team, you have every different perspective represented. And so therefore, the truth is revealed differently. It challenges you. 
God likes to challenge us. He wants to challenge you to become your best selfie. Why? Because he's got a bigger design than even you've ever imagined. So you got to focus. You got to have that truth. And the third factor is love. When you bleed the heart of we, the appreciation for others grow. You become less driven by what you are getting out of it. And yeah, we are driven. We're selfish players in this world. It's time to drop that attitude. Gratitude sharpens love for others. I love the Bible verse, Proverbs 27, verse 17. As iron sharpens iron, one person sharpens another. It's teamwork. Even God has a team. And guess what? He picked you. You're on his team. He could, yes, work his magic. He's majestic. He honestly doesn't need us, does he? But he created what? Us in his image. He created you in his image. And he wants you on his team. He can sit here and say, you know what? I'm going to make everybody love me. He has the ultimate power to do so. He doesn't actually really need us, but what he's doing is teaching us. Iron sharpens iron. It's not just about you. I did it my way. No, you didn't. It took more than just the I. Bleed the heart of we. This is a challenge in the new year for you to look at your family to look at how you are living your life. Look at how you're structuring your business. Now, no, I'm not saying you need to go and invest in a team and all of that, but what I am telling you is you need to invest in the team that's right in front of you. Your husband, your children, your in-laws. Oh, don't forget your in-laws. Yes, you gotta love them too. Then you have your side of the family. Then you extend out and you look at who you work with, your community, your church, your career. Look at your Facebook friends, all those Instagram stories that get you distracted. These are team players in your life. So you got to look and say, who's on my team? Is it getting me to where I want to go in my dreams for my revelations for 2018? It's not about that you did it your way. I didn't do it my way. It's that we need to bleed the heart of we. Now, it's not an easy thing to do. Because, yeah, we're tempted. Perfection gets in the way. I know I live that life of perfection. If I don't do it, it's not going to get done right. I'm right now, like, literally drowning in boxes. And as much as I want to move down south, I can't do it by myself. I cannot move my household. I've got to have someone to drive the truck. I've got to have someone load the boxes. Yeah, and even someone to unload the boxes. It's going to take people to help pack the boxes. We've got to get the boxes delivered. We've got to get someone to put the tape on. We've got to sell the house. That means realtors are involved. That means you got to have a buyer. It's not just about what I did or what you were doing in your life. It's the team of your life. Who's playing on your team today? Think about it. Maybe you want some help with this. And you're just like, I've got so much on my plate. I can't see where I'm going. And I just kind of need to talk it out. Or I need someone who is detached emotionally from what's going on. I have a free gift for you. Click on the link, take aim in the show notes. It's a free coaching call. Now, I understand the nerves of like, oh, I don't know. I've never experienced coaching. It's kind of weird. I think it's maybe a little bit, you know, intrusive when it comes to my personal life. You know what? I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing if I didn't care about you. So if you want to look at something and you want someone to come beside you and you want that opportunity to invest in you, where God has already invested in you, he wants you on his team. He's ready to get in the game with you. Are you ready to get in the game? Click on that link, take aim. That will begin our conversation. As iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. Are you ready to sharpen others? Bleed the heart of we and see how God can change your day. One step at a time leads to miles of greatness. I love you so very much. I cannot wait to see you on the other side. Blessings, hugs, and lots and lots of love. We'll talk to you real soon. Bye-bye. Feeling inspired, ready to train for life, and love your journey? Visit createyournow.com for more incredible resources to help you along the way. 
We'll see you next time on Create Your Now, Your Best Selfie. And remember, always be sure you consult your physician before beginning any health and fitness plan.